It is the sentence of this court that you serve 10 to 15 years. James and Jennifer Crumbly were each given nearly the maximum penalty for involuntary manslaughter. Repeated acts or lack of acts that could have halted an oncoming runaway train. In court, families of the young victims delivered emotional impact statements. I remain a shell of the person that I used to be. They explained how their world was shattered when 15-year-old Ethan Crumbly opened fire inside a Michigan high school in 2021, killing four and wounding seven. I was forced to do the worst possible thing a parent could do. I was forced to say goodbye to my medicine. Crumbly pleaded guilty and was sentenced to life. His parents were later charged for failing to lock up the handgun he used. Both were found guilty. This could be any parent here my, up here in my shoes. The trials focused heavily on whether the Crumblies did enough to address their son's mental health issues. I was not aware of or that he was planning that, or that he obtained access to the firearms in my house. The groundbreaking case is described as a rare instance in which a school shooting could so easily have been stopped. What these families have gone through, and it is preventable. Though the Crumblies are expected to appeal, their trial could be a roadmap for future prosecutions of parents whose children engage in gun violence. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.